everyone. Welcome back to Baba and Mimi's story time. Today we have a story called Nuffle Bunny by Mo Willems and we've got little Nuffle Bunny right here to listen to it with us. Yeah. And this is a story <clears throat> that was re recommended, <clears throat> excuse me, by Fletcher. So Fletcher, I hope you enjoy this and I hope our other friends enjoy it too. Nuffle Bunny by Mo Willems. And I'm going to show you the picture of the cover. It's so cute. The inside cover. Because it shows little Trixie's parents when they got married. <clears throat> and when they had her. And now she's just a little girl. Okay, Nuffle Bunny, hold on. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Looks like they live in New York City or somewhere like that, huh? Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. our little friend Corduroy likes to visit the laundromat as well. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. She's a helpful little girl. She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Hmm, I wonder what that something was. What do you think? Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, haggle, claggle. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. said Trixie again. Blaggle, blabble, wumpy, flappy. <laughs> Look, Trixie is very upset. She's trying to tell her daddy something important. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. Hold on, we got to go back. I was stuck. Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. <sniffs> she went boneless. That means she just flopped down on the sidewalk right where she was. Now, 
out. She did everything she could show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. He probably didn't understand, huh? Why Trixie was so upset. Okay, don't you be going anywhere. I know this is the exciting part of the story. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? Uh oh, mommy knew, huh? First thing she asked. The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. And I bet you remember where they went next. Yep, they zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. if they'll be as lucky as corduroy. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Trixie looks pretty upset. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until, <gasps> what does Trixie say? I like how daddy's trying so hard and it worked. Trixie says, Nuffle Bunny. And those were the first words Trixie ever said. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story about Nuffle Bunny. Aren't you glad you were found? Wave bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.